Uh, welcome to the STS uh, Coding Club website. Um, we want to tell you a little bit about how it works. Uh, we've got a number of students who are working on some pretty cool uh, technology projects. Um, and while they do that, they actually work towards color coded coding levels. So we've got 12 coding levels in all. Uh, the first three are white, red, and burgundy. And they're basic introductory coding levels just to introduce the students to some of the early concepts. Uh, we've then got um, three web uh, coding levels, so yellow, silver, and cyan. Um, and those uh, get more and more advanced in web uh, development. We've then got um, three programming coding levels, uh, normally done in Python, but it can be done in other programming languages. Um, the basics, uh, then we have an intermediate, and then we have advanced um, app building um, programming level. So that's green, blue, and black. Um, and then we have uh, three uh, coding levels which cover the cool projects. Um, we have the gold project for someone who produces a cool technology project. Um, and then we have a purple razzle dazzle and green razzle dazzle. Um, and those are for uh, very cool and exceptionally cool technology projects. Um, now, during the uh, technology project, students can use a Raspberry Pi. It is optional. Um, Raspberry Pi is getting very popular now. It's a very small, low-cost computer. And there's details of how to uh, find out about that on our useful links page. Um, and uh, there's a number of books around this one, Raspberry Pi for Beginners. Um, and there's an uh, excellent magazine that's just come out with lots of projects in it um, for using your Raspberry Pi computer. Um, and uh, this is the first issue, Raspberry Pi Geek. Um, so um, the school has um, a number of Raspberry Pis and some of our members have Raspberry Pis as well. So those can be used on the projects. And the emphasis really is on the uh, members of the club to update their page with progress on their uh, projects. Um, so that if you if you click on the the members page, you can see um, what each member is doing and which projects they're working on, um, and what levels they've gained, what coding levels they've gained. So that's how it works. Um, it's very much uh, student led. Uh, they update their own web pages um, uh, with their progress, um, and uh, we're trying to uh, get some very cool uh, technology projects um, over the years developed by the club. Okay, thanks for listening. Um, if you have a look around the rest of the website, you can see some of the work the students have done um, and also some useful links uh, if you're interested in coding um, and coding clubs. Thank you.